almost four o'clock, documenting the house as of 15 June. This is the end of the basement. Floating wall. Heating, ducting, running back and forth. Fireplace. Drain. It's around the edge of the uh, circle cutout. Drain.
view to Connor's floor. Going upstairs now. There's nook. You can see there's some space in there where that's coming up through there. Guest room, little attic, not much. In the heat bit. Closet. So far, nothing in here. First, the walk in closet off the guest room. Sink and drain. Sink drain, hot water, cold water. Tub shower, drain. Heat, or, uh, it was like a return. The hole there goes up to there, that get connected. The other guest bed or the Connor's bathroom or sink, hot water, hot water, and drain. In Connor's room, you can see the attic space over here on the walls. Space here behind Connor's walls and then the attic above the garage. Master bedroom. All kinds of heat. A couple of returns, one from the master bedroom, one from the hall here. Supply vents. You can see this little space behind the bed. The wall here has things in it. So those are functional, but it really isn't any opportunity for recessed cubicle storage there. There is kind of some open space in there, just be aware of if you ever have to get back in there, you'll know what's there. Tub drain, tub hot water, cold 
water. Vent going up there. So two sinks, hot water, cold water, and then the drains are there and there. Shower, drain, and hot water, cold water, and shower head. Cold water for the toilet. Fan vent. Master closet. So massive supply and suction on the heating system there. Upstairs furnace closet. Twenty-nine June. Just taking another comprehensive video on a Sunday afternoon. Right upstairs in the uh, master bedroom closet. Furnace closet. See the shower. Hot and cold water pipes coming up the side there. The switch in the back. Can paint or can light. The water closet. 
that much in here really. There's no exhaust fan light. Sink area. Get a good view of where the the vents go. Vent comes out up right up there. Can light. Not much in the walls here. This is where the tub goes. Fireplace and then tub hot and cold. Tub drain. Back of the fire or one side of the fireplace. See the gas line running up. This from the ceiling attic down into right there I'll get it from the other side a little better view and again this is the back side of the shower from the side that's in the entryway now we're in the master bedroom here's the fireplace again you can see the vent down below so I guess that's a probably fresh air suction there and then the vent is here for the carbon monoxide that all has to work properly of course you can switch for the uh, fireplace I think is right here you see the gas line come down from the attic comes in down here okay again yeah, this is the windows in the master bedroom. In the master bedroom bed area here. Okay. Look up in the attic here. Lots of supply and return, electrical wiring. Of course. And then, if you ever need to get back behind here, that's where the conduit is. It goes to the attic. And then there's a, uh, there's a plumbing vent for the basement bathroom, I believe, and the vent for the fire, the uh, kitchen fireplace right here. All in this little space behind the uh, master bedroom. To, you can see the flat spot where the uh, stairwell nook is going to be. See the wiring behind it. That's a, maybe a closet in the other spot in the hall. I'm assuming the vents will come down through the walls here. Some sort of construction, one section from the hall, one section from the master bedroom. Okay, leaving the master bedroom. Furnace, it's been insulated. Gas coming in. A lot of obviously return and supply insulated ducting going on there. You can see here the uh, Connor's Jack and Jill sink. And uh, we're in the hallway by the Jack and Jill sink. You can see here there's some venting going on. And that's the vent for the furnace, I believe, for there. The basement furnace. Actually, I'm not sure on that. Yeah, this is the basement furnace. Goes up to the attic there. And then <clears throat> more duct suction return. Coming up in Connor's little hall here. Up to there. And then a vent. For Connor's sink and 
something venting from the basement there, I believe. I'm not sure what that is. Carter's walk in closet gear. No lot behind the walls on it, that's good to know. There's some wiring coming up through the there. And the light switch. Connor's room now, right hand wall. See there's the window. The right hand wall here. It's all been insulated. So I'm not gonna see much there. Behind that is open to the garage attic. Supply vent there. You see the wiring coming down from the attic for the two switches here in the bathroom. Connor's sink area. You can see a light there with the vent right next to the light. And the two hot water, cold water from the sink. This is the back side of Emily's walk or the guest walk in closet. There's a tub and shower going here. for something coming up out of the basement. I guess there might be a toilet vent there. <coughs> sink vent. A sink drain. Some of these are drains. That's the toilet drain. That must be the toilet vent. And the guest bedroom, Jack and Jill. Sink area switches there. And the walk in closet for the guest. No light in here, just a light. Guest bedroom now. Not sure why they're insulating like that there. Oh yeah, there's the, the roof line comes up here. So yeah, there's like and guest bedroom hall wall. Entryway ceiling. And again, I don't know why they insulated this wall here, but the outside wall isn't insulated. And we've asked for clarification on that. Be a big pocket back there that's not insulated to the outside. Key and light. 
Emily's room. Entryway, suction to the heating system, heating cooling. Nothing on this wall here, as you enter on the left, looks like. To get to here, there's a plug. One, two, three, four, two buffers. Inside wall there. Telephone cable. Electrical outlet. Supply. Back of Emily's bathroom wall. And a little walk-in closet. You can see the switch wire comes through here. Or if that comes to the attic right up there. And then she's got the light here. And there's a wire in her wall there, her right back attic wall. And then the back of this closet wall. Nothing there. You can see the sink light and then the vent there. Actually, that's a sink drain, probably. Plus a vent. I guess that's how that works. Ooh, those switches on the back of her bathroom wall. The walking in your bathroom door. There's the back of the shower tub. And then her. Toilet with the exhaust being a light. And then her shower sink. Or a shower tub, rather. Exit Emily's room. The uh, overhead light in the stairwell. Look at Carney Rock Ledge, and you see the uh, utilities there. Dining room. Plumbing pipe vents and drains going in there. This is the overhead of the dining room. Make basically just a light fixture there. And the wires crisscrossing the overhead, which you would expect. Entry, hallway entry. Hallway closet. See some hot water. Cold water going up. Branch knob upstairs. And the, the toilet. Exhaust fan, light. Nothing really back behind this wall here, electrical or otherwise. And it sucks down into the basement furnace, as does that. Okay, living room. Fireplace, you can see there's a big gap behind there. Maybe we not be able to build into that.
and the vent goes straight out the back there. So there's a big open area behind and above the fireplace for future reference. Pocket doors. Back of the hall, going stairwell going down to the basement. Office area. The kitchen sink, center oil, gas, and electric. the uh, hole to the master tub drain cabinet wiring and plugs coming out there hot cold water going up here to the master bedroom bathroom pantry see some drainage vent pipes there Pipes here for the utility room sink. Suction down to the basement for the heating cooling. Drain. Okay, this is a closet in the entryway. Utility room. See stuff behind the wall in the utility closet. Dryer vent. Okay, now it's time for the basement. And this will mostly be exposed as we finish it, so don't need to in-depth video in here but eventually I guess they'll I don't know if they'll sheet rock this room they probably won't they just even, but they have insulated doing this quick because I think this doesn't really move much beyond when we move in. Again, these uh, both these hard places are nice open areas. We have to consider for shelves or something in the future. Now it's time to get the garage and go outside. A 
little Connor's room there. How much to see there's a light there. Steel support beam post. A big huge steel beam going across that I assume they'll drywall in. Another support beam post. And it's up on the up underneath Connor's on the side of Connor's room there. Up above the garage door. So some garage door leads come down there. And the garage door leads come down here. There and there. And we go up into the overhead. Electrical panel. And then this is up above. This is beside Connor's room here. And this is the back wall of our closet, master bedroom closet. And then this is open here. I guess that'll be drilled in. I don't know. bedroom closet and then I've laid in here to really see. Put the drywall, they got a clear primer on. It's looking good. We're getting excited. Master bath. Master bath shower. Water closet. Connor 
Connor's master closet or Connor's closet. Guess they grew. Hall closet. Emily's room. Okay, the kitchen. Scaffolding up, they just got the uh, stucco done this Thursday. Should start painting outside this week. Pantry. Entryway closet for the garage. Another closet. Utility room. Entryway, walk in closet and bathroom, entryway weather. Living room with the office in the back. Basement, not enough light, probably won't be able to see much. And this isn't going to change much between now and when we move in because it's not going to be finished. Hi, my name is Emily Jacobs, and I'm going to be singing a little bit of our song. Our song is a slamming screen door, sneaking out late, tapping on your window. When we're on the phone and you talk real slow, cause it's late and your mama don't know. Our song is the way he laughs, first day and I didn't kiss him but I should have. And when I got home, before I said amen, asking God if he would play it again. Thank you. I get to experience the cool.
Or maybe it's because I took out all the salt. 